check out all my books on audible.com. Hi folks, Dr. Bob. I'm sure you've heard of the Food Guide Pyramid and uh, that's put out by the government and so you know you can trust that for sure. And what happens with that is every few years they decide to redesign it like what else can they add to this stupid thing. And uh, so what happens, everybody from, you know, representative from in each industry shows up, one from the meat industry and the egg industry and the f fish industry and the sugar industry and, you know, the, the bread people, all the grain people show up and they start arguing about where it belong, they belong on this pyramid. And it's all about, you know, just making sure they get their spot. You know, we, we couldn't possibly, you know, leave anybody out here. So it's just a kind of, you know, hey, I got my stuff. I want to be on there too. But the real meaning of the food guide pyramid is this. And that is pretty much sums it up right now because that food guide pyramid or the food pyramid just is a bunch of garbage. And so you just go eat some garbage, you know, just go have a slice. Now, there's another thing that's called the raw food pyramid, and that was developed by yours truly, Dr. Bob. And uh, so what I said on there, of course, you know, is what really belongs in the body, what do doesn't belong in the body. Well, the first thing is water. We need water more than anything else. You see that on the food guide? No. And then what do we need next? Greens. Do you see that on the food pyramid? No. You see it on this one. We need a lot of greens. My salads are mostly greens at night. And then you got vegetables, you got fruit, you got sprouts. Uh, and then after that, you know, you've got some roots in there, um, some herbs and uh, you know, roots on top, things like, when I say roots, I mean things like radish and ginseng and uh, uh, ginger, uh, these type of really powerful foods that really, you know, we take a root and uh, take, and Tonkat Alley is a roof, really the most best way to get testosterone is Tonkat Alley, but these roots are really super powerful. And then on top you've got spirulina and chlorella, the most powerful foods in the world, and that, that what you need the least of for each meal. You only need like a small handful, meaning, you know, three grams, maybe 10 to 12 tablets uh, with each meal, and then you get all the protein you need for that meal. So that's, that's and then again, it's the raw food pyramid. You don't cook your foods. There's something called the vegan pyramid. You could find that out there. It kind of went off my idea. I don't want to say they stole anything from me, but they saw what I was doing. They said, well, let's just do vegan. Well, that's, vegan's okay. I mean, it's just a bunch of cooked foods though. So it's not as good as mine, which is a raw food pyramid. And this tells you how to eat your foods in you know, the healthiest way. You may not want to eat them raw all the time. That's what I do. But this is what, this is what, what that meaning of, that, uh, of the raw food pyramid is. So I actually redid the whole thing. And, uh, you know, to show you, here's the real food pyramid, the raw food pyramid. And this one is, well, yeah. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time. YouTube um, totally demonetized me for a while and because I said I gave some medical misinformation it hurt me a lot I mean I used to get, I used to get thousands of uh, views on every video now I'm lucky to get a few hundred so at any rate uh, if you could like and subscribe and share the video and tell your friends about the channel that would really be appreciated